I don't really know if it's because human being or, or because just the nature. I consider it to be the defining crisis of this generation. We have never seen the consequences of what we are doing. It might be essentially the end of humankind. Climate change is not a passive problem. It's an active problem. Was it? That thing. Do you feel um, Yeah. The, 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 no. No. I, I think. I think. I, think. I believe. I believe. I believe. I definitely think humans have a part in our climate change. I believe in conspiracy theories, <laughs> so I don't really know to tell you the truth. Our activities are causing large amounts of carbon dioxide to be released into the atmosphere. This changes the composition of the atmosphere. Drilling for oil, drilling for gas, carbon pollution, I mean, we're in LA. You can see these cars that are spewing clouds of smog into the atmosphere. It stays around with us, it doesn't disappear. How can you say that by taking CO2 from your cars, emitting it into the atmosphere, is not playing into what we're seeing in the world? It doesn't make sense. It's a fact that as a result of the buildup of atmospheric CO2, that temperatures have risen. The warmest 10 years that we've had in history have happened since the year 2000. I have also noticed changes in the climate. Summers are longer, winters are also longer. Now living in California for school, there's obviously the problem of the drought. Um, it keeps getting hotter. In the last century, the sea levels have risen seven inches, and this is causing more severe coastal storms. I literally think they're climate changes. We used to have seasons, and now we have three seasons in one day instead of having four seasons in a year. At this point, we need to act a lot quicker than we are and actually come up with solutions, not just have a conversation about it. I think what has to be done to stop climate change or improve the way that it's going is education. I don't think, for example, I don't know enough about climate change. I don't know what I can do. I don't know how much I need to do or the actual state that it's in. As individuals, take public transit to work or school. As simple as that, everybody should be a part of this. It's important to pass environmental friendly laws, but also enforce them. Diet is probably a big one. Americans eat a lot of red meat, and uh, red meat is a cause of a lot of pollution. Renewable energy sources, more efficient housing, better public transportation. A lot of initiative has to come also from the corporate level because these are the big players. It's global climate change. It's not country climate change. It's not community climate change. It's global. I would like to see the U.S. and other developed nations work more closely together to bring renewable energy to lesser developed parts of the world. I see an opportunity to address climate change with this climate conference coming up in Paris in December. I can't help being a little skeptical about that one. So unfortunately, I don't have uh, much belief on, on those uh, summits. Uh... The 21th, right? So they had like 20 opportunities before to, to, to make changes and nothing changed. I do have strong beliefs and hopes that they will come up with, at the very least, a partial solution maybe some more oversight of large international companies. I hope to see more leaders standing up for climate change in a way that will foster a consensus in parts of the world where it doesn't exist. How do we know what's said in that meeting is actually going to come to fruition? At the end, it's everything about money and, uh, and about business. The Kyoto Protocol, the US never ratified that, and they use the second largest amount of coal in the world after China. It's the constant disagreement that certain politicians have with each other that is that are, that's really causing this, this whole mess. The message I would like to send to the climate leaders is you need to do something right now. Do more, to invest more, to do more, to educate more. We have the resources, we have the ability, we need a change in perspective. It is a really urgent issue that we have to talk about and we have to act on it. This is the only planet we have. So it's not only the moral obligation of our global community, but it's also our only choice.